Hello, it's the first day of April, which means it is the first day of National Poetry Month, and it is time for my mini readathon, Popcorn and Poetry. Grab a drink, get some popcorn, and let's talk about some poetry that I plan to read this month and some that I recommend to you. This is a very casual readathon. There is only one prompt, and the prompt is to read any romantic era poem that features vampires or vampire symbolism. We have one group read that is Christabel by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, which you can read free online. I will link that down below. And then finally, we will have a live discussion show sometime in may that specific time and date is to be announced if you would like to be a guest on my live show as we discuss christabel by samuel taylor coleridge then let me know and i would love to have you now on to my tbr and some recommendations so first up on my tbr is christabel by samuel taylor coleridge since that is our group read Second on my TBR is The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. I wrote a paper in grad school on vampire symbolism in each of these poems. So I'm excited to get back into them again because it's been a little while and I can't wait to talk about Christabel with all of you. So in addition to Samuel Taylor Coleridge, I'll be reading a couple of other poets who have poems that feature vampires or vampire symbolism. So let me share those with you. I will also be rereading John Keats' La Belle Dame Sans Merci for this popcorn and poetry mini readathon. It's a very short one. And the final poem I will be reading for popcorn and poetry is a Song for the Men of England by Percy Bysshe Shelley, which just has one line that references vampires or vampire symbolism. I will also be diving back into some scholarly essays about vampires in romantic poetry. The first uh, selection that I will be revisiting comes from Romantic Genius, The Prehistory of a Homosexual Role, and this is edited by Andrew Elfenbein, and I will be getting back into chapter seven, which is titled A Sight to Dream of, Not to Tell, Christabel, Pornography, and Genius. I will also be going back into the Living Dead, A Study of the Romantic Vampire in Literature, which is edited by James B. Twitchell. So my specific focus will be on the female vampire. Then finally, when it comes to academic essays and articles about vampire symbolism in romantic poetry, I will be going back into... Andrea Rommel's Delusive Beauty, Femme Fatales, and English Romanticism. And this time, I will once again be spending most of my time in the section about Christabel. I will link these down below in the description box too, so that if you are interested in taking a scholarly uh, approach to some of these poems, then you can do so. So a few other poems that I want to mention here. So let me now move to the recommendations section. Of course, I recommend anything that I've already talked about, but those are all things that I will be reading. But if there are other poems that you want to branch out to, then that's what I'm about to tell you, give you some ideas. If you're looking for another John Keats poem that features vampire symbolism, then I recommend the longer poem, La Mia. If you want a poem by Lord Byron that contains vampire symbolism, then I suggest The Jower. 
If you are interested in reading poems that feature male vampiric figures, then read Lord Byron's Manfred or Percy Bysshe Shelley's The Cincy. And finally, and I forgot to add this one to my TBR too, but I suggest The Fairy of the Fountains by Letitia Elizabeth Landon, who is often shortened to L-E-L. She has been called the female Byron. Maybe Byron should be called the male L-E-L. But I always look for a chance to recommend her poetry when I can because she is lesser known as a woman writing in the Romantic era. But the Fairy of the Fountains doesn't have necessarily concrete vampiric symbolism, but it does have supernatural elements. So I am adding that to my TBR and to my recommendations. And I will link that down below too. So all of the poems that I talked about can be read online and I will link each one of them. I will separate it from my TBR to my recommendations and I will also separate the poetry that can be read online from the scholarly texts that are available too. So everything that you should need would be in the description box below. But if you have any other questions, please let me know. If there is a romantic era poem that features vampire symbolism that I did not put on my TBR or on my list of recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. Tell me, hey, look, you missed this one or what about this one? I would love to know what you're reading. Again, like I said, super simple premise with this readathon. The only prompt being that you read any romantic era poem featuring vampires or vampire symbolism. The group read is Christabel by Samuel Taylor Coleridge with a live show time and date to be announced sometime at the beginning of May. So I hope that you will join me for popcorn and poetry. And I cannot wait to get started. Thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll never miss a video from me. See you next time. Bye!